Is that you? Yes, we could. Shh. We're going to drown some buggy stuff. Padre. No, no, please. Padre, you don't think I'm going to make it? You got to give me last rights. We're both going to make it. You just shut up. Padre, you never lie in your sermons before. That's why I came. Don't start now. Padre, please. 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 Oh, God, please. The zombies, aimless wanderings, come to fruition. The revolting corpse roams through the graveyard, searching for an evil sorcerer. Keep away! The spell gives me power! Dominus Vo Vo Bosca! Robbie, oh, Robbie, Robbie, not again. How many times do we have to tell you? This is why you keep having bad dreams. No, it's not. Yes, no. it is. What is this? Mom, it's just story. That's the last straw. Okay. You are not spending another night with screaming nightmares. Dad, no! I bought it with my own money. They're Carl, all mine. Carl, Carl, this is for your own good. Phyllis, we will no, discuss I... this downstairs. Right, no! Bend your Please! Face of evil, old Nick. Beelzebub. Lucifer. <laughs> Finally, just when we'd run out of names. We came up with a runaway winner. Good candidate, but still only a front man. Now, the Bible tells us that Satan lost a war in heaven to God and his angels. Assuming their Fuhrer was on the same side, Satan just lost the war of all time on Earth. Mr. Halloran, there's ten seconds left in the game. Your team is down by one. What's the call from the point guard for hell? Uh, I'm Satan. And don't worry, Anthony won't affect you standing as a seminary student. <laughs> uh, well, that's when it can get a little ugly. You can take the shot from the outside, but odds are that you'll miss. If you get it to your inside man, you might run out the clock. Different kind of game, different kind of war. In a world where the prince of darkness has gone from Pitchfork to pitch. 
rich man in a world that seemed real evil. In that world, Satan's reduced to a thug, a mugger, a scavenger on the battlefield of good and evil. A field where we are the players. And the game has no timeouts. OK. All right, I want you to read Brest's chapter on Akhenaten and monotheism. And see all of the game. another way to reach the other side. Spirits, tell me my fortune. D, A, N, G, E, R. Danger. The world is full of it. This world and the next. Spirits, what kind of danger? Some kinds are fun, Aunt Hannah. Like in action comics. F. R. O. M. H. E. L. L. You know about his nightmares and the bedwetting. Oh. And still, you, you, you play silly games that you know will frighten him. How <laughs> can it be nonsense and frightening? It hardly goes together, dear. What? I will tell you, it does not go together. This gypsy hocus pocus in a decent house. That's right, Mom. Why don't you just trash it? Just like my comic books. Robbie, you come back here. I take you in out of charity, and this is how you repay me. By undermining me, look what you have done. He was happy until you showed up. He's always happy until you show up. That's because you indulge his fantasies. You never exercise a drop of discipline. <laughs> Why bother with a drop when you're drowning him in it? <sighs> the boy has no childhood left. No, I know just what you meant by repay you. You and that nickel and dime husband of yours. Oh, that's it. When I die, you will be paid in full. In full. Mm. In full. No, no, no. Habeas corpus. Doesn't mean they gotta find the body. It means they gotta have proof of the body of a crime. Like the car's gone, the dog's gone, bank vault's empty. 
So when, when that lying bitch says that I pulled the job with her brother, it's like her word against my word. You got it. I could tell that to your idiot public defender. Thanks. Now, what was that about the uh, neighbor's wife? Bowden, Bodine, Bodern. Yeah, guy's here to pay your bail. He says he lives with you. <laughs> <laughs> Know where you are? No. The Alexian brothers. Eight hundred years ago, they took in the lepers, the insane, the mentally unbalanced. Today, it's where the church sweeps its current embarrassments under the rug. You know, the crazies, feeble-minded, criminally insane, the drunks. You know. I wasn't drunk, Ray. I was. Uh... Defending the faith. You want to end up in there, Bill? Come on now, Tommy. Get him down. Get him down. Come on, Tommy. Easy now. Come on. Come on, Tommy. Give me your hand. Let go. Come on, Poor devil. I'll die first. He's coming. Through his power resting upon us, we may overcome the world and be counted worthy of the last to reign with him eternally in heaven. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Anna was loved by many, but known to a precious few. Her niece Phyllis, her dear grandson Ronnie. Grandson Ronnie, listen to him, going on like he even knew her. Well, at least the old pastor had met her. Carl? Wow, they're all alike. Carl, please show some respect. Now, if we could have a few silent moments of respect and prayer. Someone's dripping. An aunt in my room. Check the bathroom? Nothing there. What is that, a doll? Dummy. What? It's a ventriloquist dummy. I made it myself. You put that much time into your schoolwork, you'll have something. Something? No, nothing. Listen now. Stopped, right? I guess. All right, go to sleep. You finished your homework, right? All done, but I have to help him out with his spelling. That's funny, but I think you got to work on the lips. Robbie, Robbie, that 
is another way to reach the other side. There is another way. There is another way. a Nazi spy. Yeah, she'll save his ass. <laughs> My aunt. And she wasn't a spy. I'm telling you the truth. I will deal with your father when he gets home, but... All right. Just sit there. Hi. It's all right. I called the school. Everything's going to be all right. Okay. We just need to sit there. I'll handle it from here. Well, oh, this is great. Just great. Carl. Suspended from school. Destruction from school property. What the hell do you think you're playing at? I wasn't playing, Dad. I'm well, you should be. Now, where do you think you'll be if you don't finish school, hmm? You're going to be a bum. A deadbeat. I know that. That's good. Then promise me you will never do anything like this ever again. But, Dad, I swear I didn't do anything. That is just okay, it. Carl, this is no, not going to accomplish Phyllis, please, please stop. Look. Maybe this will, oh, huh? Oh, for God's sake, Phyllis, Carl, don't, sit down. Don't do this. chair, the force, it, it spun the chair around and then you it just... You look me in the eyes and you tell me you believe that. There is something very wrong in this house. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. How long has it been since your last confession? Six weeks. And uh, what sins have you committed? I bore false witness. How? Oh. I placed a couple of bets on the Browns. And how is that false witness? The team sucks, and I know it. Is there anything else? I've been falling back into an old habit. Well, if you noticed it yourself, can't you stop it yourself? Used to be able to. Now I feel like I feel like back in boot camp when, even though you know you're gonna be a chaplain, the the army's got you training because uh, you're gonna end up in combat anyway. Well, now I'm in a different army, but that thing. That 
Let's see what the spirits have to say to us today, Robbie. Okay. Spirits, what are the messages from the other side today? I still say you're making it say whatever you want it to, Aunt Hannah. And maybe you're making it say what you want. The spirits are never wrong, Robbie. Who are you? You will never guess. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, God. Hi, oh, Carl. We, we have to get some help. Please. Do whatever you like. Just remember, we're not made of money. Counselor just couldn't wait to get rid of us. Damn doctor couldn't find anything except 20 bucks out of my pocket. And the psychiatrist? You know, it's no wonder they call him shrinks. He sure shrunk my wallet. Uh, any more moving objects? No. All the time? No. Yes. Yes. Carl. Will you stop denying it? Do uh, either of you know what a poltergeist is? Poltergeist? What? Poltergeist. Here. It's from the German. It means noisy ghost. What? You mean you... You think we have a ghost? No, no, you misunderstand me. The phenomenon you're describing is not unknown to clergy or to science. Most cases contain two invariable elements, an adolescent and noisy, inexplicable events in the vicinity of said adolescent, like moving objects. Some cases go back as far as eight centuries. You actually... Believe in this. Ow. Not just me. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Scholars all over the world are studying this. I correspond with a few on my day off, of Never course. Part, we just want it to stop, please. Because things have gotten worse since Robbie was suspended from school, and it... He's, he's, he's throwing temper tantrums worse than a, a two-year-old, and the profanity he uses... I would like to try something. Here. One moment. Robbie? Yeah? Did you come in here? Yeah. Now, Robbie, you'd like all these bad things that are happening to stop, wouldn't you? Yes. Sure. Then, the first thing that we must do is remove you from the environment in which they occur. You mean his bedroom? No. I mean this house. There's plenty of room at mine. I canceled dinner with the Maynards. Guest room. No, 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 no. Put him in the study. I want to be able to observe him closely. Get Elliot off the lawnmower and have him help you move the bed where the couch is. Editor, Psychic Magazine. Dear Professor Rhine, in my work I have stumbled upon an adolescent who seems to fit the classic pattern of a psychoactive prepubescent worthy of publication in your fine journal. I will soon have an opportunity to closely observe the child for manifestations of abnormal behavior fitting your description of a, polter, of a poltergeist. 
I will keep you informed of all future developments. Very truly yours, Reverend Roland Eckhart. Every word appropriate. Hmm. <laughs> what happened? Did, did something happen? You keep saying that. Can I go to bed? Sure. Any minute. Are you done? Any minute. There you go. Sleep tight. Good God. Actual poltergeist manifestation. some hot chocolate. Take him to the Catholics. They know about these things. Still there. Why won't they leave us alone? He hasn't done anything. Not done anything. He just about killed somebody. 66 stitches. What the hell possessed him to do that? Do you realize what you just said? Possessed. What? I'm the ex-Catholic here, not you. That's stuff. <laughs> I swore I would never step foot in one of these again. It's your idea. You do it. I'm gonna get you some help, Robbie. You go for a walk with Daddy, okay? Carl. What? 
Please, go to him. That merely observing a phenomenon... Two ...destroyed any chance of peace. Pops, what do you say we catch a little hoof back shame? Get the clock, get the ball to Halloran, and take that ugly dog to get fixed! <laughs> Catholic school versus another. What's God gonna do? Get on both sides? <laughs> Come on, huh? <sighs> Yesterday, a woman came into the university chapel when I was taking confession. Talked about her 11-year-old son. About how the family began to hear strange noises in their house. Witnessed objects moving by themselves, always around the boy. Then the child began to exhibit abrupt changes in personality. Became morose, on occasion violent. She said welts and claw-like marks began to appear on his body. Marks the parents interpreted as leading them to the university. Ravi? Because the mother seemed so agitated in confession, I brought along a bottle of holy water. In case. Brody? Just when I thought I didn't need it. Brody? Surprise! <laughs> Somehow, the child showed a strength and a power I can only call superhuman. I know this sounds like I might be crazy, but I think this boy might be possessed. No, Ray, you don't sound crazy. You sound like a raving lunatic who just dropped in from the 12th century. 
How many people claim to have seen all this? Well, parents, neighbors, uh, school teachers, and students. It's, it's at least a dozen people. It's a lot of evidence. That's a lot of hearsay. What, do you think they're all lying? No, they... They probably believe everything they're telling you. But so do the people who believe they see flying saucers. You never heard of mass hysteria? Yeah, I know, but... You know, listen, when I was in that house, I felt this sense of evil, you know? Like, not evil as an idea. Evil as, um, as a force, you know, as a, as a presence. It doesn't make sense unless you've, you know, felt it yourself, never mind. So how'd you leave it with the family? I told them I'd come back tomorrow and... And you want a second opinion? Yeah. It'll cost you. Johnny Walker Red? I'm a priest, Ray. Black. Come on, come on. Ah. Football tickets. Teachers, guidance counselors, shrinks. Why not this? I understand you were raised a Catholic, Mr. Yeah. Do I get extra points for that, or do you just pass the collection? Carl. This is about Robbie? Straight to the point. I like that. I doubt that. Speaking of Robbie. Ah, uh, yes, fathers. Please, come this way. Ah, oh, this goes outside. It's a uh, third door on your left. Yeah. Could I get another cup of coffee? Sure. Thanks. And some cake? Please. Abracadabra. Carolazan. Spirits. Defy. Rack. Hello there. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. It's okay. Got a spare. It's my uh, father, Bill. This was real good. You got tricks too? Sometimes. Want to see? Sure. Superman. He's working with Batman now. You like comics? Yeah. I thought that, well, well, my mom says that they're supposed to be evil. Listen, if reading the fun is as evil, I'm in hot water myself. That's a girl reporter. What's her name? Lois Lane. Yeah, Lois Lane. She figured out he's the same guy yet? <laughs> no. Women, you leave the toilet seat up, they notice that, but you... Put on eyeglasses, and they don't notice you're the same guy who was wearing long johns five minutes ago. <laughs> you know a lot about comics. Yeah, well, wait till you get me started on football. Soldiers, huh? Yup, they're so real. You can even see ranks and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Yeah. I used to collect these myself. Lost interest after the real thing. You were in the war? Sure. Were you in battles? I saw my share of action. What'd you do? Well, let's have a look. See, um, that'd be me. I'm medic bought it in the Ardennes. CO figured, band of angels, band aids. What's the difference? Get wounded? Well, nothing uh, an aspirin wouldn't fix. Okay, Mr. Medic. Father Bill? Henry, please. Please. Can you help me? Oh, what makes you think you need help, Robbie? I know. 
know I've done some things. Some really bad things. But I don't remember any of it. I'm not crazy or evil. I'm just a kid. I just want things to be like they were. We'll get together soon and talk about it, okay? Whatever you say, Sonny. A ventriloquist, oh. God bless. God bless you, too, Father Bill. <laughs> so? Hooray. No superhuman strength, just toy soldiers and comic books. Huh. Is, uh, is everything all right? He's a fine young man. Thank you. And, and what about? I'm puzzled. We'll talk, schedule something in the next few days. But in the meantime, if you need us, don't hesitate to call us at the rectory. All right. We'll be there for you. Thank you, Father. Yes, thanks for nothing. We'll show ourselves out. It was good meeting you. Well, you'll have your game tickets tomorrow. I'm not sure I earned them, Ray. whatsoever he never studied latin or any other foreign language maybe he went to the library they've got books on magic there too you think he's playing a game i think whatever he's doing it's a cry for help even if he doesn't know he's doing it we're gonna have to run this by the archbishop ray how much do you think i should tell him you want to get in the door as little as possible Apropos the subject of hell, I heard of a of an Irish woman who went to Moscow, and she met a uh, met a communist over there who helped her onto a tram. She was rather surprised, and she turned to him and she said, "May the good Lord find a nice, cool spot in hell for you." <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Bishop Sheen is a celebrity. You both know what a Nielsen rating is, don't you? But, well, his is higher than Milton Berle's. And when Milton heard that, he said, well, the bishop has better writers. <laughs> and the wedding of the past year, Senator Kennedy and Jacqueline Bouvier. Catholic wedding. Your Excellency, um, what does all this have to do with our request? It has everything to do with it. 
We're trying to bring the church into the 20th century. I can't approve of a medieval relic like an exorcism. Well, we, we don't know that it would ever come to that, Your Excellency. All we want to do is investigate, for now. For the love of heaven, I recently desegregated the archdiocese. Like it or not, that puts the church in the spotlight. Or the crosshairs. You're naive or a fool. Last I heard, Jesuits were neither. For we. The events surrounding this boy defy easy explanation, Your Excellency. We saw something. Now, this family has nowhere to turn, Your Excellency. We can't just walk away. There is a moral imperative here. You just listen to me. The spectacle of an exorcism would undermine everything good that we've tried to accomplish. It would destroy all the progress we've made to show that Catholics are as American and as modern as anyone. If I allow this, what's next? Indulgences? Wait a minute. Thank you for your time, Excellency. One more minute, Your Excellency. This discussion is over. I'm talking to you now as one priest to another. Now, politics and Nielsen ratings aside, the soul of a child may be in jeopardy. Father Bowden, your faith and your passion have been amply demonstrated. Now demonstrate some patience. Leave us alone with Father McBride. For most of my life, I watched America grow from being suspicious of Catholics to embracing them. I was hoping I could keep things that way, but no. I've changed my mind. I'll allow the right of exorcism. Very good, Excellency. Uh, Father Bowden and I took the liberty of drafting a list of uh, suitable candidates to perform uh, the exorcism, if need be. Oh, that's most impressive. Why is it I see so little of your friend at the Archdiocese retreats? Mm -hmm. He's very busy. I mean, he teaches with me at SLU, and he's also the pastor at the University Chapel. Ah, St. Francis Xavier's. So technically, uh, he answers to the rector at the university and not the archdiocese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, I've made my decision. Uh, who have you chosen? Father Bowden. <laughs> no, he's, not, he's not on the list. Not because he's unqualified. Oh, no, no, no. He's one of the finest priests I know. But as I said, I went through the archdiocese roster. And, and as I said, the staff at the university is not officially on the archdiocese roster. I believe Father Bowden to be an excellent choice. <laughs> I'm very pleased you think so, Raymond. I admire your counsel and your discretion. Thank you, Your Excellency. And for that very reason, you will assist, Father Bowden. <laughs> now, this whole matter must be kept confidential by the privacy of the boy and his family. You and the father both will carry on your regular duties as though nothing has changed. However, you will report to me. Thank you. Your Excellency. Once a demon possesses its victim, 
It marks the Holy Trinity by proceeding in three stages. The first stage is infestation, then our possession, and finally, actual possession. So the noises in Robbie's house after his aunt died would have been signs of infestation, and the marks on his body now represent obsession. And yeah, then all that's left is actual possession. When a demon occupies a human body and feeds off the victim's soul. Bill, if this is right, then Robbie is running out of time, and he's not the only one, so are we. Yeah, it says here, if the exorcist demonstrates sufficient faith, will and courage, the victim may be saved during the first two stages, but once possession has occurred, the victim's last hope is the time of changing. Time of changing? What's that? I don't know. It doesn't say. Changing some sort of metamorphosis, maybe from one stage to another. Or one host to another. <clears throat> Dewey Decimal says that there's that detailed account of an exorcism took place in France in the 17th century, but I can't, I can't find it anywhere. Look, I'll keep on looking. Look, you take this. Your German's better than mine. Well, I'll take them all. Danke. Or nicht. Experiences. What? Well, you were in France. You said you translated for your unit, so you know, translate. Suran, the turning point came after he forced the demon to reveal its hidden name and the time of changing when the demon was susceptible. Susceptible and vulnerable. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. At that moment, the priest personally challenged the demon to. confront him directly. <sighs> well, the exorcism was successful, although, although Father Surin went mad in the effort. It's a lucky thing you found that book. Let's pray it was luck. If we need you, we'll let you know. In the meantime, pray for us. Especially for Robbie. Mr. Halloran, I may need you in the back court. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Oh, 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christi eleison. Christi audi nos. Christi exaudi nos. Oh, I get it. You think you can drive me out? We're fucking bad to send me. You handle Viola, Jamie. You can handle this. Pray. Sancta Maria, ora pro nobis. Don't speak that loud and shit! Talk fucking English! Do you renounce Satan and all his works? Renounce my ass! Is that Robbie speaking? Not yet. I don't know. I'm talking to Robbie. Do you renounce Satan and all his works? <laughs> You leave the toilet seat up, and they know to sat. But you put on a pair of eyeglasses, and they don't realize you're the same guy who was wearing long johns five minutes ago. So... Ah! Ah. What's the matter, guys? Can't walk on water? He's just a little kid. How can he hold that much liquid? It's not natural. Take us me. Sweet shithead! Tell me your name and time of departure. Tell me your name and time of departure. Never is mine. Oh! How's that for a oh. nutcracker? Jeez. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to start over again. In Greek and in Latin. Fuck you! Kyrie eleison. Name and time of departure. I will never depart until this child speaks my hidden name, and you will never say it. Oh, you will speak, demon. Tell me your name and... <coughs> Tell me your name and time of changing. I can see you in hell, father. Looks like Roman numerals. Is that a one? Il Eleven... One. Despite the continuing turmoil and walkouts, Archbishop Hume warned he would excommunicate any Catholic school administrator who hindered the integration plan. But if you are cutting school, here's the wrong to do it. This is Manheim, these are great. I could eat a horse. I'm not kidding, you know. You feed him a pony before every game. Right, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> is this just a grown-up party? I'm starving. 
How are you? Hmm? How do you feel? Fine. Yeah? Just achy. And hungry. Yeah, have a... Have a seat. Father Bill, I had this dream, and, and you were shouting at me. Never at you, Rami. Never at you. <laughs> Those numbers on his body, I never saw anything like it. No one's ever seen anything like it. Someone has, remember Bill? Father Surin in France, remember that book you found? There's a hidden name, date, time of changing. If the Archbishop should be pleased, we might have two out of three. Well, let's not start reading tea leaves, Ray. We don't have Jack. And those marks on the kid's body, they could have been anything. But, Father, you saw them. One, eleven, one. So that could be a, a, a day. A day, a month, a time. All right, it's October 28th. In four days, it'll be November 1st. All Saints Day. And that's the day after Halloween. Yeah, the old pagan holiday, which at midnight becomes a sacred day. Bill, that might be your time of changing. The old God's out, the one God in. First few seconds of All Saints Day. Is that too perfect? All Saints Day, yeah. Perfect. Christian pagan. According to the city of God, you know, as long as God tested me, is God testing me? Where's the test? Test of the hands of evil. You know, the of innocence were yours. You could have made your personal God and me. Evil. And me, the devil. And me. Sent this. In the beginning, there was the word. Right. Right. Um, my name is Legion. What? What did you say? its power, haven't you? It. The child. The child is just the bait, the lure, the trap. But I don't understand. <laughs> words, words, words. Useless. Picture paints a thousand. So be it. The boy is just a bait. 
You are the real target. And he will suck you down into the pit. And he will chew you to bits. Just like, just like me. Me. this carcass. We are beyond it. Now we inhabit. Which way would you like to go, Robbie? The Pass of the Saints, of course. I have to move the car, Father. I'll catch up. Come on, Father Bill. Let us share the lives of the holy. Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our deaths. Amen. A week away from Election Day. Your Excellency, you've seen this headline. Father Walsh, <laughs> what can I say? Are you sure your organization has very best of intentions, as do you, Senator. Italy is not the Vatican or the church. Tell that to the voters. My opponent's already playing the Catholic card. This doesn't help. St. Michael, the Archangel, he's the protector of 
men in men in battle. Oh God. Oh. oh my goodness, Father Bodum. Is something wrong? Just dizzy. I'm fine. I'll get Jamie. Ah. Robbie. No, come back. I shall be in Rome next week, Senator, to show that American Catholics stand united against communism, no matter where it rears its ungodly head. from the Oracle of Delphi. It'll be a great victory. You said it was over. Almost over. Well, that's a premature observation. That I did not make, Your Excellency. You were supposed to keep this whole matter under wraps. Instead, it was right in the center ring. Do you know how many people witnessed this fiasco? Besides God? Don't be impertinent. You told me that the boy has shown no symptoms now for days. That's right. Until this afternoon's, uh, how did you call it, a fiasco? Oh, well, that's hardly demonic. Simply got too close to the edge. Slipped and panicked, and who wouldn't? That is your explanation? No, that's my observation. If the boy had had a fever, he would have been considered out of danger after a week. I want one of the attending physicians to give me a diagnosis. I'll do what you like. I'm a priest, not a doctor. That's not an answer. Do you consider this boy to be possessed by a demon? I, I can't say for certain, Your Excellency. Half the literature tells me yes. The other half tells me that it's a matter for a psychiatrist. And Father Bowden? I can't speak for him. Of course you can. You've known the man for years. He's using the Roman ritual in the Saran case from 17th century France. This is 20th century America. Well, according to those two sources, there should only be one more exorcism session. Perhaps two. One. Father McBride. One. Father Bowden, Father Bowden, please help us. Why is this happening to us, to Robbie? He asks us, and we, we don't have any answers. Do we do something? Do we do something? No, no, you didn't, Father. There's no more than any of us. I wish I could give you the answer, but I can't. Why did, why did... Our Lord, Judas Iscariot, as one of his disciples, was it God's will he should choose and trust a man who will betray him? I don't know. But 
This I do know. Evil comes amongst us, not simply to test the strength and the courage of the victim, but to test the strength and the courage of the rest of us. Now, God is with us and with Robbie. Robbie's possession is an act of the devil, not of God's will. And if God is with us, who can prevail against us? There's your body of Christ. You eat it. Here we are again. Go up! Padre! Padre! Don't think I'm gonna make it. You gotta give me a last right. Stay with Robbie. Look, 
Kid knows, it knows. Kid know. That damn poker face gave it away, that's all. Ah, <sighs> oh, that's all. Taken up a conversation. And be damned if they didn't turn out to be convivial traveling companions, but of course they did fall into a theological argument. And before St. Ignatius could gather a convincing argument in support of Jesus Christ our Lord, they came to a fork in the road. And Saracen, well, he tipped his helmet and was half gone one way. St. Ignatius, he had to go the other way to catch the ferry and meet his buddies and carry on the work of the Lord. And he suddenly thinks to himself, well, which is the way? And I know if I had five more minutes for that unbeliever, I could bring him to Lord Jesus Christ, get the door, would you? Which way am I supposed to go? Which way am I supposed to go? Save one soul. Or lead a hundred. Well, Flummox, he, uh, he suddenly has an idea. And he says, I know. I'll take whichever path this donkey I'm riding decides to choose. I know the story, Bill. Yeah, but you don't know the punchline, Ray. Ever since then, so many jackasses have made our decisions. Not to imprison him, fellas. It's to free him. Robbie, come. We are here for you, Father. For all of you. God bless you. I'll need your help and your prayers. So I think it would be better if you uh, stayed here with these brothers. Robbie. And the people here are closer to God than almost anyone I know. I trust them with my life. begin in a moment.
say, a day to adjust to the time zone. And arrange a breakfast with American delegates. I've already discussed this with Cardinal Spellman. Of course, we'll need to sit with the European hierarchy as well. Make sure you vet the list, especially the French. They're overrun with socialists. Last thing I need is to have my picture beside some fellow traveler. <laughs> Are you getting all this? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, Father? Can you face him for the final tally? Are your earthly accounts balanced, or are you overdrawn on heaven's books? Something wrong? I thought I was the only one who was afraid of flying. <laughs> What's the matter? He's only 11 years old, Lord. He's two years younger than I was when I first heard your call. It's clearly as a, a cathedral bell realized my life's deluded myself my life's path was to follow in your footsteps and you were with me lord every hour of every day of every night through high school through college until and that evil That broke me then. And is back in my life waiting to crush me. And another child. A child on the battlefield cried out for me too. Dying. He cried out for me. And what did I do? I cringed. A coward. I hid. God, don't let me fail another child. I'm sinking, Lord, I'm sinking fast in a slough of doubt. Where are you, God? Is this child so possessed or disturbed? Am I being taunted from hell or not? Help me. Bill? to me about it. You never let me open that door. There's one thing I think you've forgotten. That he was a man, too. Flesh and blood. Muscle and bone. Hopes and fears, Bill. I mean, isn't that the whole point? Now, sometimes some of us try to be something even he wasn't. I'm frightened, right? When they broke him, when they tortured him, come on, what did he say? God, why have you forsaken me? He was frightened. 
But you came back. And you came back. You came back, right? I just took a taxi. Will it hurt as much as last time? I don't know, Robbie. It isn't God that makes the pain. We're here to ask him to take it from you. I don't know how much more I can take of this. What if it doesn't stop? I don't want to be crazy. I'd rather be dead. You're not crazy. And you will get your life back. As God is my witness, I'll drive it out. So, you think I'm gonna go? Stick it up your ass, you motherfuckers! Fuck you! Brothers! And never get rid of me! Never! Cajones, the man. 
Come on, Robbie. Robbie, don't let this chum beat you. Robbie, if you can hear me, do you know its name? Its secret identity. Come on, its name. Father Bill. His name is... His name is John! My name is Travis! be a true God, apart from thee, the creator of all things, visible and invisible, of whose kingdom there shall be no, no end. Oh. Oh. Hence, we humbly appeal. Bill, hence, we humbly appeal. Hence, we humbly appeal to the sublime majesty that thou wouldst graciously vouchsafe to deliver us by thy might from every power of the accursed spirits, from their bondage, and from their deception. And to press 
preserve us from all harm. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, I cast thee out. Now is the time of thy changing. Give me a sign of your departure. I command thee, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, depart from the servant of God. We have informed the Chancery Office that the events which took place in St. Louis must not be publicized. However, I fear that the news has already broken in various parts of the city through individuals asking for prayer and some who may have taken part in the um, episode. The difficulty in keeping certain facts secret is at the moment practically beyond our control, but insofar as we are able, we must not make this case public until we receive a definite statement from the Chancery Office. Of course, there will be no statement. The room at the Alexian Hospital, where the reputed event allegedly took place, will be sealed forever. <laughs>